What's up, friends? Today we're gonna brew green tea and a gaiwan together. So get your favorite green tea, grab a gaiwan, a sharing pot, and a teacup, and let's get started. The green tea I choose today is Leishan Yinqiu. It's a green tea from Leishan Xian in Guizhou province. I have been obsessed with this tea lately. I love how sweet umami taste it is, and it has that essence of spring. It's so refreshing. Let's have a look at the dry leaves. Leishan Yinqiu is invented in the 1980s, featuring this a marbled dark green and a silver bald shape. Because of its origin, it's also a selenium rich green tea. Leishan Yinqiu is a pressed green tea. It might remind you of a puar or other types of dark tea, but don't use those dark teas as a reference when it comes to steep time because Leishan Yinqiu is not as tightly pressed as those dark teas. As usual, we will start by rinsing all the teaware. And this is the best time to enjoy the dry leaves. It's a little bit warmed up, so it will be more prominent compared to you smell the uh, leaf at room temperature. Ah, oh, that's what I meant, like, it's just so uplifting, like, so yelling, like, spring. Very sweet, very like fresh corn, and um, I couldn't use like floral or fruity anything. It's just its own that green tea, the refreshing, thick, luscious but uplifting green tea smell. It's actually very fun to watch this uh, pressed bowl unrolled and it's very pretty but I have a few things I'd like to chat while the first infusion is being steeped. First of all, it's a pressed tea so I will give it a little bit longer brewing time than regular loose leaf green tea. Uh, second, it's about this brewing vessel I choose. I'm brewing this green tea in Gaiwan. Uh, so let's talk about the brewing vessel in terms of green tea. The most common and the most traditional authentic way of brewing a green tea is actually in a glass cup. We've done a video showing you how to brew green tea in a glass cup. That is the most professional way to brew. In the video I uh, demonstrated and explained the variations depends on different types of green tea you might uh, brew that slightly different and that's uh, the way we brew green tea when we're evaluating tea as well another way to enjoy green tea is to still brew in a gaiwan and uh, sip directly from the gaiwan which I also did a video a while ago if you're interested check that out both of these Two ways of brewing green tea uh, have long, long history and it's way more authentic than this kind of infusion by infusion brewing green tea in a gaiwan. However, this way of brewing, gaiwan, uh, brewing green tea also have some uh, advantages that the other two ways don't have. Let me just get this brew out before it's over steep.
so it's a little bit over steeped. <laughs> I knew it as soon as I see the liquor because this tea will have a really pale uh, green tea liquor but when I see this it has a little bit more green a little bit uh, to the yellow side for many people this is not a deep liquor color but for me and for this green tea uh, it is a little bit deep and when I taste it in the cup it's a little bit to the strong side totally drinkable it would be a great pick me up a little bit with a punch but not bitter uh, it's just a little bit of strong you will have a time uh, that kind of a little bite at the beginning but it's really there's no astringency uh, you won't feel unpleasant after you sip this tea actually very because it's a little bit um, uh, over steeped it's actually quite thick uh, compared to how I usually brew it in terms of the mouthfeel um, so back to uh, this kind of infusion by infusion brew for green tea oh, this is so delightful be sure to smell the leaves smell the liquor and enjoy the tea to the fullest so there is a major advantage of brewing green tea in this of course the basic is you can enjoy how the tea changes in different infusions but this way you have way more control in terms of how you brew which you can use different techniques and skills to bring out the best of the tea while hide the shortcomings of the tea well if you do the traditional uh, uh, glass brew it will be very very it's like a hardcore test for the quality of the tea the tea leaf is there with the liquor how does it taste like what's the tea leaf look like uh, everything will just display it in front of you uh, a little bit brutal so with the lower quality teas that glass uh, the glass brewing will really show the the shortcomings I don't regret this it's a little bit strong compared to how I like my tea to be but it's still very very nice to sip it that uh, fresh corn sweetness that uh, amino acid that sweet but refreshing and thickness in the liquor everything is still there uh, it's a very like a silky liquor texture that I very yeah I love this liquor texture a lot okay second infusion I'll be quite fast but in terms of green tea when I say a fast brew it will never be as fast as a, how I brew like oolong tea it still needs a moment because the leaves are really different This is more to the liquor color that I like. Uh, really light, uh, a little bit of green yellowish tinge with, as you can see, there's tons of uh, the tea buds, the trichrome in it floating. So this is the intensity of green tea that I usually prefer. Uh, I don't want to say this is what you should shoot for, especially when I just had the previous one compared to this one. There's a difference, but it's really not just about good and bad. It's mostly about the preference. What I notice in this infusion is um, so that the initial green tea bite is much toned down. I don't taste much of that. It has the freshness, the, the cheerfulness, the lightness. Like it's all about gentle pick me up. But 
I'm also sacrificed a little bit of the mouth feel. I really enjoy the previous one that a thick but still silky mouth feel. The liquor texture was really lovely. While this one become much thinner in terms of the texture, while it's not empty, uh, it's just different. So I think the goal of uh, me making this type of a video is to say, you know, when we brew tea, we don't always shoot for perfect. I overbrew, you might overbrew, underbrew, things happen. It's not a big deal. We taste it and we adjust it for the next infusion. And also in terms of perfection, there's no, not a single criteria for it. For us to enjoy a cup of tea at home, I think the most important thing is to really find what you like in your tea and try to play with the water, play with the tea and find your best cup of tea. I remember once I had somebody tell me that I really don't like your green tea because all the liquor color is so light. It's, am I just drinking water? Well, this is very understandable. He's a wine lover, especially red wine lover. Love those deep colors and uh, that feels more like drinking a beverage. While the fact is, in terms of Chinese green tea, the darker the liquor color, the lower the grade is. If you buy some supermarket Chinese green tea and some premium grade uh, Chinese green tea, do a side-by-side -side brew, same leaf amount, and same water and everything, it, you will see a major difference in terms of the liquor color. The third infusion, I'll let it steep slightly longer than the second one, not too much longer. Oh, now that light floor, no, <laughs> the floral is not light, but the type of uh, uh, floral scent is very light. Think about those little white flowers, wild flower like metal. You might have noticed that I didn't rinse the tea leaves and I also didn't use the filter. Uh, the green tea is very tender. We eat that all the time. You can cook with it too. And if there's a little buds or leaves, you can just eat it. It's tender. It's not bitter. It's actually very delicious. Yeah. Not using a filter or uh, not washing the tea is because for green tea, we really value that trichrome. Uh, it's a very important component for the taste. So we want to keep the maximum amount in the, tea, uh, in the tea liquor and enjoy it. But if you like to rinse your tea, feel free to go ahead. We have a video explaining all about that rinse. This is a really nice brew. <laughs> It's a little bit shameless to say it, but it's bang on, like... The perfect balance between mouthfeel and the, uh, the taste profile of the liquor. So, but I wouldn't say, oh, this is just stronger or lighter compared to my second brew. Well, on the other hand, I could be influenced by my strong first brew, so my second brew I feel a little bit mm, thinner in the liquor texture. But now I'm recalibrated. Could be. I don't know. I thought those are also fun elements of tasting. For the fourth brew, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer. Usually, green tea is not a marathon runner. With a regular leaf amount, it goes about 
four to five infusions really depends on different teas. Overall, I found green tea is not a very uh, hard to brew tea. A few things that I've been collected along the way based on people's feedback, I feel like sometimes we will have a mind block with the green tea because we have been sipping oolong for quite a while and we're expecting that full booming flavor while well, green tea is just not going to deliver that. It has its own uh, profile, it has its own character. I think we really have to adjust our expectation to really fit this green tea tasting realm. As with all teas, the better the quality, the easier to brew. It's, this is especially true. <laughs> this is especially true for green tea. You will notice with the lower quality green tea, when you brew, you really have to be very careful with water temperature, with a steep time. Otherwise, you really like lose that refreshness, the cheerfulness of a green tea, but end up with a lot of bitterness or astringent. Or on the other extreme, that you're all very cautious and end up an underbrew, then the flavor is not there. So if possible, choose a higher grade green tea that will make your brew much, much easier. Well, do you feel like green tea is tricky to brew? Well, if it's true for you, where exactly is the hardest part for you? Uh, let me know by comment below so that my future videos can be more tailored and answer your questions about brewing. I hope this video is helpful and you will have a much more enjoyable green tea experience next time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for me. Until next time, keep steeping!